This gate is wide open. This gate is wide open. There's a herd of goats. They won't leave to go graze because of all the mud and the water. They won't even go through this muddy mess to get to the hay shed, which is currently empty. I do have hay in the truck, but I don't have any hay in the shed. Kind of needs cleaning out. It's getting yucky over here from all the rain and stuff we've had. It's just been, oh, it's been ridiculous the amount of rain we've had. But the goats don't know it's empty. And everybody, I gave the, I did feed them this morning. The very last bit of hay that was in there, I gave them alfalfa. But everybody's just standing around. I saw a lawnmower attempt to come out. Um, it was funny watching her trying to do the splits. Reaching, because there's not enough rocks in here for them to use to um, get out. But I need to fix this gate right here. I am having a problem with all the massive amounts of water that's been falling out of the sky. All this mud is piling up against the gate. I've cleaned it out last week. I I couldn't even shut the gate. It was like that far, well, maybe around like this far. It wouldn't go anymore because there was so much grass and dirt piled up here. I couldn't get it shut. And so I cleaned it all out, made a little trench here along where the um, gate should be. And then after I got over seven inches of rain in just two, well, two nights. It rained in the night time, both um, Sunday night, Monday morning, and then Monday night, Tuesday morning. Um, got four inches Monday night, Tuesday morning. And it pushed all the mud over here. And so I got to come over here and clean some of this out. Are you going to try to make it? Oh, is Sport going to try to make it? Are you going to try to get over there, Sport? Oh, uh, are you going to try? Nope, you're just going to shut the gate. <laughs> oh, you don't need to be going out there. It's too wet, Sport. It is too wet. Yes, it is too wet. So I think I'll shut this gate and lock it. Though he knows how to undo one of these locks. This kind he can un undo. But I'm going to take a few minutes and I'm going to clean out some of this mud. I think I'm just going to transfer it to some other location. Not sure yet. Um, but I need to be able to lock that gate so when there is hay over here, in that shed this boy and the others won't try to break in and eat it so better get busy okay i had to take a lunch break it's afternoon now i've hauled off about a dozen buckets each a little over half full um because I was just skimming off the top of um, the mud, not very going deep at all, um, and I can only go, I got to get rid of that rock if I want to go farther, but um, I really didn't get any little rocks. I've got a few, but not much, and so I went and put it in the garden. I'm trying to elevate, a, you know, make raised garden beds in there. I've got one bed. I'm trying to get rid of all the grass weeds that keep growing every year. So I piled it on that. Um, in that garden bed, I actually put, I pulled up as much grass as I could, which wasn't much, fed it to the rabbits, then put paper feed sacks on top of it, and then been piling rabbit poop, goat poop, straw, hay, um, and dirt 
from the land on top of there and hopefully you know that will do the trick if not if I start seeing stuff sprouting during the winter I'll put plastic feed sacks on top until it's spring and see if that helps kill anything but this is what I've accomplished today over here I can now open the gate without pushing any mud out of the way to let the goats in and out and get me in and out um, obviously I need to get in here to feed these guys well most of them are gals well three are gals two are guys no, three are guys if you count the dog but um I probably will do more on a future date. Um, we'll see. I've got so many other pressing things that really need to be done first. Um, I'm just wondering if, if I piled like a little levee of rocks you know, in a half circle. If that would keep you know, the rain from washing mud down here. Uh, I, so I mean I'm kind of thinking of doing that. But that would have to be for a future date. Um, right now, not something I feel like doing because I have so many other things that are more pressing to do. At least I can open the gate without having to push mud out of the way. Now, I really need to bring in another bale of hay, but all this mud, I'm afraid that if I put the hay on the part it's just going to get stuck so I think I'm going to just have to carry some hay in from the truck to feed them every day until I get rid of that bale or well you know in a day or two it will be dry enough to where I could just you know haul it over here right now though today because I mean look at all this water I, I just don't see how I can do it but another thing I wanted to discuss or share was an update on um, last um, I'd have to look and see when I actually bought the um, duckweed. It's either early summer, late spring, I really can't remember. Um, but it wasn't growing as well as I'd hoped. So I did a ton of research and everything I was seeing said basically that you know they needed nitrogen and since nobody was swimming in here and pooping in here I decided the water was just too clean and that's why it was growing so slow and so the last time I went and cleaned out the rabbit hutch which is now empty I've moved everybody out that's why the door is wide open just because nobody's in there but when I was cleaning it out, and I hadn't been cleaned out in a while because of all the rain, just couldn't get over there to do it, and just kept raining, I poured in two buckets of rabbit poop. And the end of last week, I can't remember, maybe this weekend, I noticed I had a lot of um, um, duckweed growing it seemed to have doubled in size they were still little pockets everywhere but there was definitely more duckweed than there had been and so I was really pleased and thought you know maybe I'll have a good supply of duckweed and I can start feeding these you know when winter comes that maybe this will be totally covered in duckweed well then this weekend or it started Sunday night and ended Tuesday morning um, I got 7.49 inches, basically seven and a half inches of rain. In fact, one between you know started raining Monday night, and by Tuesday morning, it was after nine o'clock that it was safe to go out. I had 4.19 inches. That's almost four inches in 200 or 20 tenths. I mean, that's there are places. I mean, people campgrounds got wiped out from um, flash flooding towns have been flooded R roads are closed I mean this is severe rain this is it was bad well as you can see 
this, it, I mean, it used to be kind of low. I wasn't adding, I mean, in August, this was probably half full. I haven't added any water because I haven't had to. And I believe it overflowed. The ground's kind of, it's drying out here, but it's still pretty dampish. And I think it overflowed. Um, especially probably Tuesday. Um, mo Monday, it wasn't, it, it was pretty high up, but still. But then I think it overflowed. And a lot of the duckweed fell on the ground. Um, in fact, I'm not sure, but I may see little duckweed plants in the mud. Um, these guys, if they find it, they'll eat it. It'll still be good. Um, and they might have eaten a bunch. But as you can see, I really don't have any duckweed. I mean, I think I see a few leaves here and there. So it might come back. It wasn't, I mean, it was pretty cheap. I could always just order some more. But obviously, I'm not ordering more duckweed and putting it in this you know with it so full and in the future well honestly you know it was not that full before the rains came so I don't you know unless I had um emptied you know some of the water out from there's a um way to you know empty water from the bottom and but once I unscrew that I'm not sure I could you know the force put the screw back in so that wouldn't have been a good idea um Unless we establish an on-off switch, which I don't believe has ever been established. Um, I don't even see the... Oh, it's right here. The, um, the thing to empty it with. And so we'd have to put piping in an on-off thing to be able to empty water. Which... You know, if the duckweed doesn't come back, if it do has died... And I don't get a good crop because it, you know, if we get more rain and it just all washes away, I just may do that um, and try again. But if, if you're thinking of growing duckweed, my from what I've researched, you need some nitrogen. So make sure that, you know, if you have ducks or any other kind of, you know, birds or rabbits or um goats or anybody that's you know producing some good poop make sure it gets into your waterway your your source so you know you're feeding it nitrogen if you don't have any of those animals or, i mean like i honestly there's been times i've taken the duck water right out of these poles you know got some in a bucket and poured it in there but that's not nearly enough i think so um find a source of organic for um, nitrogen everything I research pointed to nitrogen and if you think about it out in the wild you know the the fish are pooping the ducks are pooping everything's pooping in the water and that's apparently what duckweed feeds on and I just did not have enough poop in here so if you're gonna try duckweed that's what I suggest make sure that there's a lot of poop in that water to feed the duckweed Hopefully, because there is, you know, some duckweed. I don't know if it shows up. Like, that right there is duckweed. That is duckweed. It's, it's not really showing up too well, but hopefully you could see something. Hopefully they'll grow and, you know, I'll get a crop that I can start feeding the ducks during the winter because that would save on money. So I just wanted to update you on this, um, you know, what's going on with this. You know, because I haven't said anything because it wasn't, I wasn't growing anything. But when I added, nit you know, a ton of nitrogen, not just a little bit. But, I mean, it was two big bucketfuls of rabbit poop. That's when I saw it start growing. And as you can see, the water's kind of brown because that's a lot of rabbit poop I dumped in there. So, you know, that's what's going on with the duckweed. I'm kind of disappointed.
I think that's all I'm going to talk about today. I just wanted to share my problems with the gate not opening and solving that issue and the, giving you an update on the um, duckweed. Um, I hope the information was helpful. I hope you have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching.